Hey YouTube, Frog Toad here. Well, I was just kind of sitting here messing with the uh, Leatherman Mutt, seeing how it uh, works as a cleaning rod when the doorbell rang. And it was the mailman. And that means an unboxing. And uh, yeah, it's from, it's from Amazon, and I really hope that uh, it is actually what I'm thinking it is and not, uh, you know, an underwear order from my roommate or something, so. But, you know, if I screw up and it's, you know, a whole pack of girly stuff, well, you'll get a laugh out of it. And yeah, the, uh, the mutt has a pretty decent uh, end locking blade. So, for those who like to see what we use to open the box with, there it is. Hmm. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. All right. Otterbox. Yeah, I've been wanting one of these for a while. And, uh, man, this one's actually a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. But, uh, let you look at that and look at it. Look at the taken apart, uh, Beretta for a second. I'm, I'm going to get what I was going to put in here and show you. All right. Well, if you saw one of my earlier videos, uh, one of my quick preps was uh, this verbatim out uh, outboard hard drive, and it just struck me that you know I don't like the thing sitting in the drawer, so that's what this otter box is for. If I have to bail out due to weather, and uh, yeah, as you probably know, we live in a hurricane zone, so it occasionally happens. I wanted to have a way to grab this hard drive, and of course, you know, having it weatherproof isn't such a bad thing. And I was hoping it would fit in this otter box, which it appears it's going to without any trouble. Oh, that rocks. Oh, it fits perfect. Cool. All I gotta do is get that off of there. Awesome. It doesn't even rattle. It's just, it's just, it was it fit perfectly. That's amazing. I guess the cord is just uh, squished in there just enough to keep that thing from rattling. So that's cool. That means now that uh, if I ever have to bail out, um, I don't have to worry about it. Again, for those who don't know, I'm desktop bound. I don't have a laptop. So this uh, OutDrive has all of my uh, information, pictures, videos, everything like that that I don't want to lose in case the computer gets uh, washed away by the next big one. I can just grab this and throw it in my backpack and bail out. So cool. That worked out really good. The other thing is actually a companion to this, uh, this mutt that I'm doing the reviews on. Now this time I'm not going to let this sit, but I gotta go get the sheath for that. So. I'll be right back. Alright. Well, I did an edit there because uh, I didn't think you'd want to sit and stare at uh, taking apart guns for, for a minute. Well, I went and got this. It was actually attached to my cross-draw vest, so it took me a minute to take it off. This is the sheath to the mutt, and I really wanted this uh, to be a full system. So while I have the, the Leatherman itself, and it has, well, let's just say this... I don't want to get in too deep into the review on this because I want to do that all later. But this tool has the capability of using uh, replaceable and other bits that Leatherman makes. But it doesn't come with the bit set. That's what this is. That's what just came in the mail here. So. When I looked on the Leatherman site, it gave it listed all of the tools that these bits uh, were compatible with, and it it didn't list the mutt. So I called Leatherman and said, "Hey, you know, these gonna work? Because if I'm going to have a tool that you know it's not inexpensive, I want as many I want it to be as versatile as possible and use it for as many different things as I possibly can." So they assured me that not only would the, 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 the bits work in the tool, but that the, they would fit in the sheath. So we'll just 
get a quick peek. Either I'm just going to have a big disappointment, or Leatherman needs to upgrade their website. Ha! Hey, Leatherman, you need to upgrade your website. Your bit set seems to work fine with the uh, with the Leatherman mutt. So let's slide that back in there and see if the other part is true. Now the sheath has several pockets and I'd really like them both to fit in one. Preferably this inside one. And okay it's a little tight. Is it going to work? Hmm. I don't know. Cram them in there. Now nah, that doesn't look good. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's definitely not going to happen. Let's try one. Oh, no problem. That one fits in there. And I'll bet you this one will fit just fine in here. Of course, if I could flip the flap over, you can see what I was doing. There we go. That's still a very tight fit. So, okay. Both of these racks of bits that you get in the bit set, both of them won't fit at least easily in, in the mutt sheath. So I'll probably go through this and pick out the ones I want. Like I said, when I do the whole review, you'll see this because I do want to have a front sight tool in here. And, uh, haven't bought that yet. Still researching. I want a front sight tool that I can use not only to use the front sight, but to be able to run the the click wheel on the rear sight too. So, nope. That was the unboxing, and I'm still messing with the mutt. So that review will come out as uh, soon as I can get it done. Fair winds, y'all. Have a great day.